Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, I recently got a travel system for my Reborns and I wanted to do a video on how to make your babies look real inside the car seat. So, and I'm gonna use an awake baby and a sleeping baby. So let's get started. Now, before you even put your baby in the car seat, you wanna look at what they're wearing. So today is a cold rainy day, so Landon is not going to be wearing this outfit. I'm going to change him into something a lot warmer and more suitable for the weather. I'm going to be changing him to be more weather appropriate, and you guys can do that too. So now Landon is dressed much more suitably for the weather, so I'm going to go and put him into the car seat. So if you have a smaller baby, you're going to want the newborn insert because it'll help support them better. I have the newborn insert in here because Landon is on the smaller side of three months, so... He can wear newborn, so he needs a newborn insert. And pretty much all my babies use the newborn insert. So I'm gonna put Landon in, and you wanna make sure that these straps are lined up with his shoulders. Because if they're way up here, it would like strangle them down here, that wouldn't be safe either. So you want them just right and at his shoulders. And then I can buckle him in nice and secure. And you want to make sure that this is up here at his chest, like where his armpits are, like near his heart. And I'm going to adjust the straps here because they are not tight enough. I'm going to move this down for a second because the straps are not tight enough and I want them to be tight. So he looks nice and secure. So he's nice and secure in there now. And I don't want him just looking straight on because that doesn't look very realistic. And also I'm going to give Landon a pacifier because his mouth is wide open and a baby would not always have their mouth wide open like Landon has right now. And he'll wear this one. Okay. So I can have a passy clip. And I'm gonna clip it on his strap right here. So now I want him looking off to the side a little bit and he is an awake baby. So his head is not really gonna be down because he's not really sleeping. I think it's gonna be tilted up and you can put toys on the handle of the car seat. I have some toys and I need to get him some more, but I have one that I can put up here and I will do that. Let me go grab it. So I've got this little whoops, ring toy that can hook onto up here so he can look at that. I need to get him some more, but it looks like he is looking at it because it's right here. And you can also make it look like he's grabbing it or a lot of people tend to put scratch mittens on their baby's hands. I'm not really big into scratch mittens, so I probably won't put any on his hands. But if you don't have scratch mittens, socks also work. Um, I'll just put some scratch mittens on him for the video. So you can see. These ones just have little animals on them. Thought it matched his little theme that he's got going on. So now he has scratch mittens on, so you can't tell his hands are like open like this. Because a baby would probably have their hands relaxed not all open the way his are so then you can't tell what his fingers are doing and his feet are covered by socks if you don't have socks on you can put socks on or like footed outfits and then lastly is just a blanket i've got this one it's a gender neutral one it says love by mommy and i'm gonna fold it because it's really big but i can just drape it over him and make him like hold on to it and like tuck it under him and he looks really cozy. You can also use like, smaller blankets like muslin blankets, swaddle blankets. This one's a really thick blanket and it might not be the best for this weather. I don't have any boy like swaddle blankets or like muslin blankets. Well, I have swaddle blankets, but I don't have muslin blankets for boys. I just have girl ones. But this looks pretty realistic and you can put the shade up too to kind of block his face. So it kind of helps add to the realism because it's like shading him and you don't always get a very good glimpse of him if you're like walking by and just saw a quick little sneak peek of his baby you'd probably think he was real so that is for an awake baby and now we're gonna swap him out for i think ryan and we will just um show you how to make a sleeping baby look more real so again ryan here is just wearing a onesie that's not good for this weather it is cute because it says land like thunder and it's like raining but this is not weather appropriate so i'm gonna go get him into a weather appropriate outfit and we'll be right back so I've got Ryan here dressed much more weather appropriately. So now I'm gonna lay him in the car seat. So this is adjusted to him now. And we're gonna put this in. Here we go. I'm gonna buckle his little straps. He has socks on, no scratch mittens. 
I actually don't really like scratch mittens on Ryan, so we're gonna have to work around that because they just don't really look good with him. I'm tightening this so he is buckled in there really good. So he is a sleeping baby, so I wanna rest, I don't want him looking up like that. Babies don't sleep like that. He's gonna be nestled against the side or with his arm like his under his head. I like to do that. This arm would look kind of strange, but this one's like tucked away, so I like the way that looks when he's falling asleep like that. And now, also we want a blanket for him. So we've got the same blanket right here. You can drape it over him. And I'm gonna just put his arm out and I can even pull the sleeve of his shirt down so it doesn't look like he's just pointing because that's not really a natural look. So I can just cover his arm up with his sleeve and just tuck this in him. And then for his pacifier, he tends to spit pacifiers out of his mouth. This one matches his outfit great, but he loses his pacifiers really easily. Like if this got jolted around, he'd probably lose it because they are cut. So I'm gonna use a prop pacifier for Ryan. So we're not gonna use this one because it's cut and if it fell out, that wouldn't look very real. Like why is the baby sucking on such a small pacifier? So I have this one, which is a full pacifier and I don't have that many full pacifiers. The full ones that I have are all girl ones because they're for Raylan, um, cause she's my only baby that can take full pacifiers. But this one is gender neutral, so I'm gonna use this one. And so I'm gonna put it on a pacifier clip, which I have right here. This is my favorite one, that's why I always use this one. But we're gonna stick it on. And again, I'm just gonna clip it onto the hook and then I'm gonna make it, or I'm gonna put it on this one, on the strap. And I'm gonna make it look like he spit it out. So just place it right there. So if I put it on his mouth and just kind of dropped it, it would land over here. So it looks like he just spit out his pacifier. I'm gonna adjust his head a little bit more. Yeah, right there, that's good. So now he is just there and obviously you want the shade for a sleeping baby because you don't want the sunlight to wake them up. And you could even drape a whole nother blanket over the top of it if you didn't want anyone to see him. But I'm fine with him like this, but he looks very real sitting in here and sleeping, so be quiet, don't wake the baby. Um, anyways, that is how to make your awake and sleeping babies look real in your car seat. Again, if you wanna see a video of how to make a toddler look real in a stroller, let me know in the poll and down below, and I will do that. So thank you all so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe, and in the comments, let us know if you think they looked real, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.